Today we have our lead foreman, Lyndon, who's going to demonstrate how to operate a gate valve and how to operate a ball valve. Lyndon, how are you today? I'm good, I'm good. So Lyndon, can you explain the setup you've made for us? Okay, the setup here, this is the inch and a half water line, main water line. And this is the, the main valve in the building. And what kind of valve is this? This is a gate valve. Okay. Standard gate valve. And how does it work? Well, the, this is just on and off. You see the gate, the gate is inside right now, it's open. I'm going to close it. You see the gate coming down. And this is an, an internal stem, correct? Yes. It's a non-rising stem. This is a regular domestic water. See the gate closing. Now, is there a, a right or a wrong way to operate one of these valves? Well, the, the, the wrong way is, is just don't be rough on the whole valve like this because what happened, the gate, see the gate is closed and what happened, you, you rough with it, the gate gets stuck. When you're ready to open it, it wouldn't open. So you'll be without water because this gets stuck closed in closed position. And that would be a very bad scenario, meaning that the only way that you would be able to change this valve would be to shut it off in the that's, roadway. That's right. Okay. Now, if it's a really old valve, do you advise, if it's rusted out, do you advise anybody just to go for your homeowner? Should you touch it? No, if you don't know nothing about a valve, leave it alone, call the plumber. Got it. And what happens if you turn it the wrong way? Well, this is it's, it's a stem over here. It's old and rusted. It kind of break if you over tight it. It could break and then it's stuck closed again. So it could happen both ways, whether you over tighten, yeah, over to close it, yeah. or too much to open. Let's turn over and we can give a demonstration of how a ball valve works. That was good. Now let's go to the ball valve. Lyndon, how's the setup here? This is the uh, same as the gate valve, really. But only this is a ball valve. This is a, in here is a ball, and you, you just slightly operate this like this. There's a stopper when you when you all the way close, it stops. Can't can't go any farther, so you can't ruin this one. This is the better valve. When you open, you open like this. It's a stopper. Stop right there, you can't go any farther. So there's really no way to damage no, this valve. No way to damage this valve. What if it's old and kind of rusted out? Well, it's the same thing. It's just the, the valve, the body don't rust it. It's just the handle. Okay. It's just aluminum, but it's the same thing. So know? it's more durable. Yeah. So between a ball valve and a gate valve, which would you rather see on someone's main water line? Ball valve. Ball valve. The best. The best. And we always use Apollo ball valves, right? That's right. Okay. Lyndon, thank you for showing us the difference between how to operate a gate valve and a ball valve. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, it's always important to contact a licensed master plumber to evaluate your main water shutoff valve. Thanks for watching. Lyndon? Thank you.